Hello dear friends, welcome to COPA virtual classroom. Today's topic, introduction to CPU architecture and motherboard, trade computer operator and programming assistant presented by N.B. Pansi. Atta do apla lesson hai, introduction to CPU architecture and motherboard. CPU तो structure कसा है, motherboard तो functioning का है, motherboard तो उपयोग का कसा कर रहा था, ते अपन यह lesson में देख पाना रहे। Objective of this chapter, state what is the hardware and test the internal and external hardware. Hardware मंजे का है, मंजे का है, अनि ते चे internal अनि external hardware कुटले कुटले ते अपन पाना रहे। Brief the list hardware, state what is the partition and their types. Explain the booting and its procedure. Computer hardware. Generally, we have classified the computer hardware and computer software. Software means it is the program, set of program that is called as the software. And the computer hardware means what? The physical units of computer are called as the computer hardware. जे फिजिकली अपन कंप्यूटर चे पार्ट्स पाव सकतो इंटरनल पार्ट्स असतील किंवा एक्सटर्नल पार्ट्स असतील त्याला म्हणतो आपण कंप्यूटर हार्डवेअर व्हिच आर सीन बाय द ओपन आईज इंटरनल हार्डवेअर एग्जांपल्स या ठिकाणी आहेत ब्लूरे सीडी रॉम एंड डीव्हीडी सीपीयू हार्ड ड्राइव मदरबोर्ड रॅम रॅन्डम एसेस मेमरी साउंड कार्ड व्हिडिओ कार्ड एसएमपीएस these are the some examples of the internal computer hardware. Computer hardware, external hardware examples, flat panel monitor and LCD. Keyboard, mouse, printer, scanner. So, hey, externally, upon computer la attach karto, that is also the computer hardware by using the different types of ports. the CPU and ALU Central Processing Unit CPU is the heart of the computer. It is the hardware that carries out the instructions of computer program by performing the basic arithmetical, logical and input-output operation of the system. Central Processing Unit CPU is the main part of your computer system. It will process the information which are provided to the computer system and generate the results or the output. So CPU port and connectors. Port means what? Where we can connect the different devices to the computer system. A port is a connector at the back of computer cabinet where you plug in an external device such as printer, keyboard, scanner, modem, etc. This allows the instructions and data to flow between the computer and the device. The computer ports are also commonly referred to as input-output ports. These ports can be either serial or parallel. Generally, the external devices, suppose for example, printer, scanner, monitor, external CPU, computer system, by using through cable. And generally, computer chip, you want CPU to the cabinet, the cabinet chip backside lap on the attach to the port. So, that can be cable. I this allowed the instructions and data flow between the computer and the device. CPU port and connectors. A CPU chip is backside, rear side, the Kutle Kutle port, and you can Kutle Kutle devices connect to the PS2 port. A standard keyboard and mouse. जैसे कहनी PS2 ले लो लसल तो PS2 कीबोर्ड आप लोग जैसे कहनी इंसर्ट करता है, लाउता है, कनेक्ट करता है, अन्य माउस सुधा कनेक्ट करता है ये। Serial and parallel ports. Generally D type connectors, D shape connectors जब back side लास्ता तो या rear side लास्ता तो दोनों प्रकार जैसा तो एक serial अन्य parallel port. Generally you can connect the input devices to the serial port and output devices to the parallel ports. Then USB. Universal Serial Bus Port that is the most famous port so you can connect by using these input devices as well as output devices. Local Area Network Port LAN cable you can connect here VGA Video Graphics IRA Port the VGA port provide access to the integrated video 
ADO code, it provides the access to the integrated ADO. Now the next is CPU front panel, a power on off shift. Generally CPU to the front panel, hai. front panel la power on off switch cell, CD DVD drive and open close button on CD DVD drive, CD DVD indicator, floppy disk drive and indicator, USB port, ADO and mic connectors. These are the some ports available on CPU front panel. The system unit and its component. Generally computer we called it as a computer system because the different devices are also attached to your computer. That is why it is called as a computer system. The system unit is box like unit filled with the number of useful components. Each performing discrete functions. These components work together to accomplish the main function of computer. So the components, power supply, SMPS, switch mode, power supply, SMPS, the Apple system unit, I, cabinet, I, the cabinet mode generally SMPS, fan, SMPS fan for exhaust to cool the SMPS unit, drive by 5.25 inch and 3.5 inch, keep the floppy disk drive, FDDs, expansion slot, an expansion slot is slot located inside the computer motherboard that allows the additional peripherals to be connected to it. That expansion slots are PCI, ISA, AGP, then memory slot, random access memory, storage, drives, hard disk drive, optical drives and floppy drives all connected to motherboard via cable and is mounted inside the computer through IDE and SATA cables. Then power port where we can connect the power ports, peripheral card slot, sound card, video card, modem, wireless network. The system unit and its component. In details, main component of your computer system is the motherboard or the main board. Motherboard. The motherboard is the primary component of entire system. The motherboard is printed circuit that is foundation of computer and allows the CPU, RAM and all other computer hardware components to function with each other. The component of the motherboard are keyboard, parallel and serial port, process socket, AGP slot, PCI slot, ISA slot, CMOS battery, data card connector, memory slot, floppy port, fan header, main power connector and ROM BIOS GP is also available there. Now we have seen here the ROM BIOS chip, CMOS battery, power supply plug-in. What do you mean by ROM BIOS chip? Read only memory basic input output system. Whenever we switch on your computer system, computer will automatically check all the peripheral devices connected to your computer system are in working condition or not and it will load the operating system to the computer memory. That is the function of ROM BIOS chip. The built-in software that determine what a computer can do without accessing program from disk. On PCs, the BIOS contains all the code required to control the keyboard, display screen, disk drives, serial communications and a number of miscellaneous functions. Then the CMOS battery, CMOS, complementary metal oxide semiconductor, is the term usually used to describe the small amount of memory on computer motherboard that stores the BIOS setting. Power supply plugin, the power supply as its name implies, provides the necessary electrical power to make the PC operate. The power supply takes standard 110 volt AC power and converted it into plus or minus 12 volt, plus or minus 5 volt and 3.3 volt DC power. Thank you. A video to like